Welcome back to Switched to Linux. This is Tom. So today we're going to have a look at how to set up VirtualBox on a Windows 10 machine so that we can explore some different Linux distributions. So the first step is we need to download and install VirtualBox, which you can get by going to virtualbox.org. Make sure that you're always downloading any software from its real place. In this case, uh, we are going to be downloading it directly from the company that creates it, so there's nothing else packaged with this software. And I want to download the x86 slash AMD64 version for Windows hosts. If you are running a Mac, I do have an entire playlist specifically dedicated to doing the same task on a Mac. So, in this case here, I want to download the program and then we're going to install it in the usual way and then when we do that we will get the box here to allow us to install a virtual machine so this program allows you to actually create multiple different machines you generally are only going to want to play you know load one machine up at a time I'm not even sure you can load up more than that but uh, for our purposes and definitely on this Windows 10 computer here I don't want to do anything more than that this is already not a very good computer so what we're going to do to get this started is I want to hit new and this will enable us to install a a virtual machine we're just going to give this a name I'm just going to call this the generic Linux test machine and then under type I want to select Linux and then I want to select from the bottom of this list other Linux 64 now if we're going to be actually installing a Linux distro here then you can select the specific one from the list go ahead and hit the next button and we have to allocate the amount of RAM we are going to give the computer so memory is the system RAM not the hard disk so this computer has four gigs of RAM. I generally like to use half of the RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 2048 over here in the box. I can also slide this over, hit next. And then the next portion here is adding a hard disk. So you do want to add a hard disk if you are installing the distro onto the virtual machine. In this case, we simply want to put in a virtual machine that will allow us to test and play with different distros. So what we're going to do is just select the do not add a hard disk. Hit the create button. It's going to give us a, a warning message. We're creating a virtual machine without a hard disk. We will not be able to install anything into this virtual machine. That is fine because the purpose of this video is simply to show you how to set this machine up so our next tutorial we're going to be looking at three different Linux distros in no detail at all I just want to show you how to put them into the machine boot the machine turn off the machine and remove the disk so we're gonna hit continue now is the system here uh, boots up the machine well it's not booting yet mind you you have to hit the start button to boot we don't want to do that yet what we want to do is we want to change a few of the other settings that our system does not actually uh, give us the option for as we're doing our initial setup. So I'm going to hit the settings button here. And then under the menus here on the left, you can find your various different portions. Uh, you can change the name. You can change the folders, where the folder's at. You can add the description. You can encrypt it. Now what I want to do here is under the system here, what I want to do is under processor, I like selecting half of the processors in the computer. So I'm going to go over here and select four because I have a total of eight CPUs in this computer. Sounds impressive, but this computer is still not very good. Okay, the next thing I want to do is go down to display. And once again, I want to use half of the display memory. Now you can actually get away with using you know using a lot more of it uh, but for this purpose for this machine I'm going to just use half of it so I'm going to change the slider to 64 I'm going to enable 3d acceleration if I wanted to add a hard disk at this point I could actually add it over here I'm not going to worry about any of that I'm going to hit OK and now we have a test machine that is essentially ready to go 
So if you look down here in these block sections, general system display, and this one down here says storage, you'll see that we have an optical drive. All these virtual machines have an optical drive. If I click on the button here, I can add a disk image. So I've downloaded three different Linux distros that our next tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at these distros. So you can pop one of these guys in the drive by hitting the button here and select the choose disk image and then just navigate to your folder where these are at. In my case, they're on the desktop. So I just select whichever full uh, one of these images I would like to install, click OK, and you'll see that now it is in the drive. If I push start, it's going to start the drive with this as if I had a CD-ROM in the computer drive as I started. So to change the disk or to remove the disk, you just click on this link again. You'll see I can choose the disk image or the bottom of the menu says remove from virtual drive. So now our machine does not have a disk in it. Obviously there's no hard drive in it. Our next tutorial, or not our next one, in, in two tutorials from now we'll be looking at how to install a Linux machine onto your virtual machine so that you can actually play with it, change your settings, and maybe even try some production on a Linux distribution.